Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming back today and being with me and let's chat in a little bit and I'll show you just different things and all and hopefully before too much longer I'll uh, be able to do the easier recipes. I have a couple I want to share with you that sound really good and one of them is more like a breakfast top recipe and the other is uh, uh, I call it a hortivore uh, hors d'oeuvre uh, 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 snacky top recipe but it sounds really good so we're going to get that done soon I really hope in case you need it for uh, a holiday party or or uh, just anything, you'll have it and I think you'll like it. So I'm going to show you some things I got. I want to show you more cards and <coughs> just chat with you a little bit. This morning, you know, I love those mints with a unhealthy passion. I love those mints. And this morning, uh, the red bird, well, I love both of them, but you know, I like the red bird because they dissolve real quick. But this morning, I got choked on one and it took me hours to get over it. It just uh, absolutely, uh, it was scary and it woke Randy up and he came and did all he could do to help me, which did help and help get me through it and all. Uh, but if you hear me or see me kind of cough a little bit, it's just residuals from about choking to death this morning, but I'm fine now. <coughs> so I'm gonna get started. I've already took up two minutes and 37 seconds. The first thing I wanna show you, a lady had emailed me and told me that she was sending me something from Macy's. And, uh, I got the package yesterday, and of course there wasn't, I don't think Macy's maybe puts like uh, Amazon does where things are from or who they're from. But anyway, ma'am, I am so sorry. I cannot remember your name. Uh, sometimes I just hurry through things like not thinking, well, I should write that name down or something, but I neglect to because I just don't think. And then I feel terrible because you spent <coughs> time and money and all getting that for me. And I want you to know I'm really grateful for it and, and, uh, Anyway, I love it. I, my husband absolutely loves it. And thank you. And I just apologize. I can't remember your name. If at any point in time I run across that email or whatever I need, I will say your name. But I want you to look at how beautiful this is. <coughs> it came from Macy's, I believe I said that. Is that beautiful or what? It's got the Mary and Joseph and the baby and then the angel protecting them and it is very heavy and just a beautiful piece that i will always <coughs> uh, 
treasure. I've already picked out where I'm gonna put it on my dresser right over there with my plants. I'm gonna tuck it in there between them. And it's just beautiful. And if you sit and look at it and think about all the meaning behind all of it, your, your heart will just fill with such joy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I got this, which I can't believe someone made all these cards. And I believe this is the lady who made the cards. Her name is Lynn. Uh, what I really like about this is on the back it says, Handmade with Love by Child of Ruth. Isn't that something? Then she wrote me a little letter which I loved reading, and I keep these, and I go back over them, and I read them from time to time. It's just really interesting to hear things about y'all. Just one second. But what she sent is this box. And it is chock full <coughs> of handmade cards. On that one, she has wishing you the best day ever. But they're all handmade cards. Every one of them is a handmade card. I believe that's like a little tag maybe you could put on their present. And then on the other side, happy birthday. Look how intricate the writing is. But it's every holiday, uh, birthday, get well, all that. I'm going to tell you, you have to have some talent to be able to make all these cards. I'm going to show you just a few more, but the box is full. <clears throat> Welcome, little one. Is that not precious? Somebody needs to have a baby so I can send them that card. Thank you for your kindness. You're amazing. And thanks. Inside sentiment. Thanks for your kindness. That's what it says inside, I believe. <coughs> this is a pretty card. You're the best. Thank you. And I'll end with this one. Happy birthday. So I am all set for sending cards. And thank you so much for sending that to me. That is wonderful. Now I want to show you... Uh, something else that was sent that's really uh we're grateful for and that is um let me say we're grateful for everything we're just every day y'all are so kind-hearted and and just send things that as co-three people 
or not used to having but are truly blessed to get and uh, I, I just could not think of words that could let you know how much we appreciate each and everything that y'all do but I believe you know and all but it can't go without <coughs> saying so anyway Um, let me show you right quick the cards I've received that I haven't shown you yet. And I'll go through these kind of fast because <laughs> we don't want, uh, or I don't want you to have to, uh, to have to sit here through. I think I showed you these. I really believe I did. But I know there's some I haven't. But let me show you anyway. It wouldn't hurt to look twice. But here is cute kitties. Look at all those kitties. Everywhere you look, there's kitties. And a horse. Kaylin is my horse girl. And yes, I love bones. They're the cutest things. <coughs> and there's a gnome in here. Plus, this lady, Nancy, her writing is something else. Neat. But look at that writing and look at that gnome. Isn't that so cute? I don't think there's anything in life I don't like. Uh, this lady sent a note. And look at that pretty fall scene. Do you remember when these this scene was like all the rage for puzzles? I do, and I think it's really pretty. And that pretty card. <laughs> There's a turkey on the car. And it says, Hope Thanksgiving brings you one good thing on top of another. So... There you have your turkey. Pretty Thanksgiving card. That reminds me kind of retro material or something like a dress would be made out of. I love retro. Pretty butterflies. And the lady made this card herself. And... Ernell, you did a great job on this. It's beautiful. And I think I'm getting into the cards that I've already shown you. So, it's not been a few. There's the shepherd boy. And I know I've shown you that. That's so cute. I look like that when I put my makeup on. And here's kitties and puppies. Everything's right in the world when you have kitties and puppies. And a beautiful, beautiful Christmas house. Can you imagine yourself living there or being there at Christmas time? That would be awesome. And this pretty watercolor is really nice. So I'm trying my best to keep the cards separated from what I've shown you and what I haven't and what I need to put up on the wall and all that. But we know I'm not the <laughs> best in the world at that. Now... 
y'all remember the lady who son passed away a year ago a couple days ago and i got so emotional over that child that i forgot to show you what she sent me she is really really talented uh i know back well she had lived around here and then she moved up north she had family and then she moved to Virginia to Naval ba uh, Base. And then I heard she was wanting to move back up north, I think. And honestly, I'm not sure where, where she lives now. It doesn't have her address. But she used to crochet and make things for uh, a little extra um, money because she's on fixed income. And she's a t very talented crocheter. I was tickled to death with what she sent. And you know, the flags, the small flags you hang outside, like maybe in your flower garden or something. Well, she made this. Is that not the cutest? Kind of get that straight, but I love it. And so you could hang that outside if you wanted to. Now I have a hook thing that you hang them outside, but I'm not going to simply because it's going to get <coughs> rained on and dirty and all that. And this is way too cute for anything like that to happen to it but i would like to know where you got your pattern because i would love to work on some i found that crocheting really helps me during these days because really all i can do is go in the kitchen and i sit in the chair at the stove and randy and Kaylin bring me ingredients and i will cook but I am just not able to do anything and to crochet. I'm working on a couple little projects and that makes me feel like I'm doing something uh, worthwhile and not just being a bum. So that is beautiful. And I'll show you what else she made. I love these. As you can see, I have on one of these, but I have none of these. Ear warmer type things. Well, it wouldn't be that bulky if I just had the single layer. But I love that, and I love that color. And then she made a wider one in this pretty teal. And I just love these. And yes, I would love to have your pattern. So, so pretty. And uh, then she sent me a card. Very pretty card. And thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I have tried to call you several times, but with my phone issues right now, the calls have not been going through. But I say every day, excuse me, that I'm going to get my phone fixed today. And then something comes up. And I'm supposed to go today after a while, after Holly rests a while. And I hope that it happens today. But uh, there's that. Then the last thing I'm going to show you is a very <coughs> sweet lady named Kim 
sent us some things from Omaha Steaks. First of all, we did not know Omaha Steaks sold anything but steaks, but they do. They sell other things. And uh, we were really blessed to get this, and it means a lot. And there are so many times that I just am not able to cook or don't feel like cooking. And we have uh, used something Ted sent, or uh, now we can use something Kim sent, and it'll take care of that day having uh, something. And we can always have a can of stew or soup or something, and we're good with that too. So don't think, you know, we have to have all this fancy stuff. It's a blessing. It's a wonderful, delicious blessing. And it's, uh, we are very grateful for it. And I know you know that. But I'm gonna show you what she sent. <laughs> this is, there's four in here of pineapple upside down cakes. And for quality control purposes, I needed to taste one to make sure that no one would get sick. And so far I'm still kicking. So I would say these are good. The one I tasted was delicious. And I don't know if you could reuse these little cups or not. I'm going to read about that. But they're little tiny bunk pans. Cute as can be. So, there was four of these in the in the box. And then <clears throat> Doesn't that look good? That looks wonderful and they sent something about I believe they sell dog food I'm not sure but I'm going to read about that and this is cream style corn you can hear it a little bit but delicious cream style corn Oh, beef shepherd's pie. This is what we're going to have as soon as I finish making the video. We're going to have uh, beef shepherd's pie. Uh, we love shepherd's pie. So we're going to have that and get fat and sassy on it. My husband didn't put this where I could reach it very easily. Chicken and dumplings. So, we'll may have this tomorrow. <coughs> Chicken breasts with gravy and dumplings. Kaylin is a huge chicken and dumpling girl. Well, we all are really. We all love chicken and dumplings. And I'm just trying to get this out of the way. Bratwurst. We love bratwurst. I told you recently how we had had beer brats in a roll. I had wanted to put onion and green pepper saute them and put it on it, but I never got to do that. But get you some brat. I don't know if beer brats and regular brats are the same because I've only had the beer brats, but it sure is good. And I wanted to open this and show you 
And I had <clears throat> some scissors. But now, here we go. I wanted to see this and I thought, well, maybe I would like to see it too. Oh my goodness. I think I'm getting it now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks really, really good. The way I fix these is let it fall. This is the way I fix it. It doesn't mean it's the correct way. And then, uh, put it in a pan and I don't put any kind of grease in it and I put it kind of medium heat or maybe just a little bit lower and I just let it cook on one side then the other back and forth turn it ever so often and you just keep doing that until it's cooked all the way through and these usually have a skin on them so then you can take your kitchen scissors and kind of cut up through there the skin and then pull it away unless you want to just put it on the plate like it is and then the, some people eat the wrapper stuff sometimes i do so you could leave it on there and the person uh eating it can decide if they want to pull it off or eat it also saute up a bunch of green pepper and onion to go with it and that would be really good eating and then the last thing is whipped sweet potatoes <coughs> we love whipped sweet potatoes that's like if you don't have dessert and you have sweet potatoes then you've got dessert. And so I guess that's it for today. Thank you for your prayers. Um, means the world to me. Y'all mean the world to me. And thank you for all the goodness, kindness, and light you bring to this world because at a time like this right now, we really need it. And you're touching lives every day, whether you realize it or not. And you're helping people, whether you realize it or not. <laughs> and you are good enough. And you mean so much to so many, whether you realize it or not. So, please always keep tuck away in that little special place in your heart that you're a wonderful and glorious shining example of God's love, mercy, and grace. And you go out and enjoy your life and represent. And when I say represent, you represent God and all of the wonderful things he's done for us. And I just rambled on a, and uh, I'm proud to know all of you. <coughs> so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go and y'all just know how grateful and thankful that we are. Who would have thought some little granny from nowhere North Carolina would be on a camera 
and I love it. So we will talk to you soon and you take care. I love you. Bye-bye.